welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on polycystic ovarian syndrome, short form PCOS. So PCOS is a syndrome of ovarian dysfunction along with the cardinal features of hyperandrogenism and polycystic ovary morphology. And this PCOS affects around 5-10% to women of reproductive age, which is quite commonly seen. The etiology of PCOS is not completely clear, but there is often a family history and it seems likely that a gene is important in its development. The clinical features of PCOS are the following, which include oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea in up to 75% of patients, predominantly related to chronic end ovulation. Hirsutism, where there is excessive growth of hair, subfertility in up to 75% of women, obesity in at least 40% of the patients, Recurrent miscarriage in around 50 to 60 percent of the women. Acanthosis nigricans, where there is areas of increased velvety skin pigmentation, especially in the axilla or other flexures. And some patients may be asymptomatic, where the polycystic ovary is found out on incidental ultrasound finding. To diagnose polycystic ovary, the patients must have two out of the three features below which are amenorrhea or oligomenorrhea, clinical or biomedical signs of hyperandrogenism, and polycystic ovaries on ultrasound. The ultrasound criteria for the diagnosis of polycystic ovary are 8 or more subcapsular follicular cysts, which are less than 10 mm in diameter, and increase in ovarian stroma. This is a picture showing the gross appearance of a polycystic ovary, and the second picture shows a polycystic ovary seen on the ultrasound. For investigations, transvaginal ultrasound can be done and look at the enlarged ovaries, increase in number of the cysts. And hormone tests such as LH levels will be elevated, estradiol and estrone levels are markedly increased, there is high androstenedione, high serum insulin, high serum testosterone and DHEA5. Urine pregnancy test to exclude pregnancy and also investigations to, for, to look for complications such as endometrial biopsy to look for endometrial hyperplasia or carcinoma, MOGTT for the blood, con blood glucose control and also fasting lipids to check for hypercholesterolemia. For management of PCOS, COCP and cyclical oral progesterone can be given to regulate the menstruation. Metformin is beneficial in some patients who have PCOS, especially those who have hyperinsulinemia and cardiovascular risk factors. Clomiphene can be used to induce ovulation where there is subfertility. Lifestyle advice like dietary modification and exercise for the patients as they are at an increased risk of developing diabetes and also cardiovascular disease. And weight reduction can be advised. That's all for this video. Thank you.